hello and welcome. It is a celebratory mood for the nation's parliament as it observes its 60th year today. Also, the state's political activities are not lagging behind in light of the Pudukotai Pai elections that are not too far away now. We will update you on all of that and much more during the next 30 minutes as you are watching News Tonight with me, Linda Hercules. But before all that, let's take a look at the top headlines. India's parliament marks the 60th year of its first sitting with a special session. MPs point to bringing order in the house as their biggest concern. The NLC contract workers strike does not see a comfortable consensus with the third round of talks failing yet again. Nedumaran slams Sushma Swaraj over her comments on Tamil Nadu political parties and the Lankan war. Nishananda gears up to meet Jayalalitha to sort out the Madurai Adina Matrao. Now, Anna Hazari seeks the support of Army Chief General V.K. Singh to join hands in anti-corruption grafting. Yadurapa surprise praise of Sonia Gandhi as the divide in the Karnataka BJP comes out in the open again. And Maldives President Mohammad Wahid says there is no chance China would step into India's shoes. It's been 60 years since the first sitting of Indian Parliament in 1952. Speaking in the Rajya Sabha, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said it's time to rejoice as we have had an uninterrupted parliamentary democracy at a time when many other countries are struggling to hold on to theirs. Speaking at the special sitting in the Parliament, our parliamentarians reflected on the years gone by and the challenges that lie ahead. Many even focusing on the priority of getting order in the House. The President addressed a special joint sitting of both houses where the oldest members and those part of the first Lok Sabha were felicitated. We must take a call at this juncture. After our journey of 60 years and, res and resolve to work collectively for this goal through a well-built democracy, as it is said in a shloka, Aikyam balam samanjasya tad bhavesa durbalaha, which means unity is the strength of any society, and society is weak without it. Here are a few excerpts from the speeches made today. That is not to say that we should not reflect with concern on the repeated disruptions of proceedings and a regrettable unwillingness on occasion to engage in informed discussion. On this momentous occasion of the completion of 60 years of the functioning of the House, I hope that we can write a new chapter and restore to it the sense of dignity and decorum that is expected of a House आज का दिन ऐतिहासिक दिन है, आज शष्टी पूर्ति है भारत के संसद की और इसे हम ये विशेष बैठक करके आयोजित कर रहे हैं, मना रहे हैं। जनता के कारण ही हमारी संसद और हमारी संसदीय प्रणाली 60 वर्षों की ये यात्रा सफल कर पाई है। मैं उन सब का अभिनंदन करूं। an anniversary is also a moment of reflection to consider our role and place in the rich fabric of our nation's life and history. The integrity and independence of Parliament must be preserved and protected at all costs with no, with no room for compromise. It's an occasion to rejoice. It's also an occasion to introspect and prepare ourselves for the challenges of the future. It's a tribute to our parliamentary system that despite divergence, despite ideological differences, when it came to the call of the nation, we all stood up and spoke in one voice. 60 years is a long time in Indian parliamentary life. We shall remember the contributions made by 
or elders and the standards they have maintained and set for ourselves and we should try to reach them. The most important thing is that we will again that this institution, the parliament of India, is so important. 100 crore people have been sitting in this institution with their hands. They are their hopes, they want their work, they want to do something from the government, they want to do something from their children and their families. And our first is our first. I have a hope that today we will be able to do the whole day. After that, we will be able to do the whole day. We will be able to do the whole day. We will be able to do the whole day. We will be able to do the whole day. इसलिए क्योंकि ये पार्लियामेंट बनी किसानों के संघर्ष से है आजादी का संघर्ष किसानों ने सबसे ज्यादा किया था और उन्हीं की तप से और त्याग से आजादी के वो हमको सफलता मिली गांधी जी के नेतृत्व में और बाकी नेताओं के नेतृत्व में तो इसलिए संसद के दिन किसानों की स्थिति पर भी विचार अगर इन्होंने किसान संसद लगा के किया है तो बहुत अच्छा काम किया India will awake to life and freedom. of several women organizations protested in New Delhi to press their demand for 33% reservation in the parliament. The women protesters said that only 10% women were a part of the parliamentary system instead of the 33% that was proposed in the form of a women's reservation bill. Taking us away from parliamentary issues, Pudukote constituency has caught up the election fever with DMDK jumping into the contest. Sources say that Chief Minister Jalalita will campaign in the constituency on the 7th of June. The AIA DMK chief is expected to tour 37 kilometers and garner support in favor of her party candidate Kartik Tondiaman. Our reporter Hari Haran has more on this. With information on Jalalita's campaign trip to Pudukote, the constituency has started to heat up politically. This information comes exactly two days after the DMDK, the principal opposition party, announced formally that it will take part in the Pudukote by elections. Sources say Jalalita will tour the Pudukote constituency on the 7th of June. This is exactly four days before the by elections. And she's expected to return to Chennai on the same day, and she's expected to cover around 37 kilometers in the constituency. A helipad is also getting ready in Pudukote for Chief Minister's chopper to land. Uh, you must also remember the IIDM case announced that uh, Karthik Thundayman will contest uh, uh, in the Pudukote constituency from the party ticket and it had also deployed a 42 member special team to monitor the election campaign that includes 32 ministers as well. With the DMK, PMK and almost major political blocs boycotting this election, it is now a clear two-cornered fight between the DMDK and the ruling AIADMK. Jalalitha in all probability is expected to campaign on the 7th and Vijay Kant is also expected to campaign and the information is awaited on his campaign schedule. Will the other parties like the DMK, the CPI, CPIM come forward and campaign in favour of the DMDK candidate? For that, we'll have to wait and watch. Over to the Lankan Tamils issue. Nadumaran has slammed Sushma Swaraj, who headed the delegation to Lanka, saying she's talking about the issue without knowing the history of the war. Talking to reporters in Tamil Nadu, he said he deeply condemns Sushma Swaraj's comment that some political parties in the state are trying to create a rift there. Adding that just going to Sri Lanka and meeting a few people there does not make her well acquainted with the situation prevalent there for years and if UN takes up a general vote in Lanka, they will get to know the actual situation there. He has also asked Swaraj if she will question Rajapakshe over this. 
In another new development, the NLC contract workers have intensified their strike after the third round of talks have failed. The NLC management, however, is still urging them to call off their strike. The contract workers, who have several demands such as making them permanent workers and a hike in pay, among others, have been on a strike from the 21st of last month. The six rounds of talks, which went on before the Labour Welfare Commissioner of Puducherry, ended in a failure. In another scene, the state IT minister Mukur Subramanian has been alleged of possessing false educational qualifications as published in the Tamil Nadu government website. Interestingly, this has been raised by members of his own party, AIA DMK, of course by his opposite faction. They allege that the minister on con contesting the Lok Sabha elections from the RNA constituency in 2009 had mentioned that he had failed in class 6 on the affidavits sworn by him. And on contesting the assembly elections in 2011, he had mentioned that he is pursuing his BA course in an open university. The opposite faction alleges that now the state government website says the minister is a BA graduate. They questioned how could the minister be a graduate while his course is not even over. A letter has been sent to the chief minister and the sources close to the minister say it is purely due to human error in publishing his qualification in his profile. Moving on, the Chennai police have seized two tons of ration rice which was to be smuggled to Andhra in a government vehicle. The police who were checking the vehicles in the Chennai-Kolkata highway near Red Hills found the smuggled rice while they were inspecting a vehicle going from Chennai to Nellore in Andhra. They found 40 sacks of rice weighing 50 kilos each. Six women along with the driver of the government vehicle have been arrested. Engineering colleges under Anna University have started issuing application forms for admissions and 1,60,000 of them have sold out jobs within two days. The issuing of forms started day before yesterday for the 554 colleges under Anna University. Chennai, Coimbatore, Trichy and 58 other centres across the state started issuing the application forms. The very first day of issuing the forms saw 86,000 forms sold and the second day 30,000. The university has decided to print more application forms, seeing this intense demand. Ever since Nityananda was appointed as the 293rd head of the Madurai Adina Mat, there have been mixed reactions. And now a newly formed group to revive the Mat from Nityananda has announced that they will hold a protest today against his appointment. Following this, security has been beefed up in Madurai. Anitananda and Aruna Girinadar have asserted that this is the work of certain anti-social elements who want to disrupt the peace in Madurai. Both of them have said that they will meet Jalalita in person and give an explanation. Tirupanandal, Madangale Purupu, Tamil Madala Mitchell, Purachi Televerali, Yervum Send the Sandit, Tanile Velakangal Alikum, Matra Idva in the Pratanigal Samanda Pata, Yangalodaya Tarapu, Nyangal Alikum, Vendu Golvit, Letter Kuturko. More news and updates on the other side of a very short break. Stay tuned.